one out of the out of the wall so I don't really know how that works um, anyway coming out of the wall 600 watts uh, running prime at 4.9 5.0 gigahertz uh, at 5.0 it's I think it jumps up to about 615 watts so let's see if I can slide back a little bit here So you can see it's you know it's running pretty smooth here, and I'll tell you what, uh, even at like 4.6 gigahertz running, I, I play Battlefield 3, Modern Warfare 3, and you know it's this process. I mean, with these video cards, I've heard some problems with higher end cards in the crossfire with the bulldozer, but with these 6790s, um, with the you know 1080p resolution on three monitors. Um, you know, at 4.6 gigahertz, it you know it runs fine for me. Um, probably close to, uh, I'd say, um, 50, 60 frames per second. Uh, you know, and that's that's smooth enough for me. Um, and it, it, you know, it's sometimes you, you run into that problem where even though you're getting like 50, 60 frames per second, it kind of jumps around a little bit. Uh, um, this you know this processor doesn't have that problem uh, at least from my experience and right now actually with this benchmark running uh, the power consumption is at about 450 460 watts out of the wall so it's really not using that much of the CPU. Um, it's it's definitely using more of the uh, GPUs than the CPU. Um, so just to let you know that. That glare off the left monitor is uh, left monitor is from the light I have shining on the. So there's nothing wrong with my monitor. I still have yet to test this test this new processor I got. It was either yesterday or the day before um, to compare it with the one I've I've had for the last month. And you can see why we won't be doing this benchmark again. And this is this here is a pretty heavy duty uh you know graphics benchmark here so um you know with the fifty seven sixty by ten eighty p it's it's not really gonna be that great. I could do it for you with one monitor um, Let's see here. Uh, frames per second average 34.4 minimum 16.4 max 66.4 uh, you can see here it shows um, AMD FX 8120 8 core processor and GPU Radeon 6790 series Crossfire X so I don't think it shows that but you can see here DirectX 11 um, mode 5760 by 1080p so I got a couple of things um, uh, disabled shaders on high I think this is stock because I don't remember changing this stuff tessellation normal so there you go on that so let's um, let's uh, close out of here and do some more overclocking So you can see that well, the temperature actually went up to uh, 57 
but it, it went back down to uh, 56 Celsius when we were doing when we were running the prime. So let me go ahead and restart this. I think I just hit shut down. So uh, if you have this board here, these uh, it's actually called the uh, Pro Belt, where these voltage touch points on the motherboard, uh, right above the RAM, um, there's one for the CPU, uh, CPU PLL, uh, RAM, Northbridge, HT, Link, Southbridge, and CPU Northbridge. So you can test all those voltages with the multimeter. So just, I mean, if you have this board, you have that option, which is what I'm doing right now, just so you can get a more accurate reading on the fly, because sometimes, uh, you know, you know, really getting, um, oh, you know what, I just missed the BIOS. I have to restart it. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I, th I th definitely think it's more accurate using a multimeter, and uh, you know, um, as far as, you know, taking a couple seconds to get the reading, this does it all instantaneously, so, I actually forgot to jump into the bias, so let me, let me restart here. Altogether, uh, this whole system with the monitors, um, with the monitors, keyboard, mouse, headset, and uh, system cost me about fifteen hundred. So let's give you an idea of what I paid. I got a lot of um, um, discounts and rebates and stuff like that. So. So here we're going to go back into the BIOS and um, we're going to up this multiplier up to 25. Here you can see our target CPU speed, 5000 megahertz. And we'll go down to the voltage and just to be safe, we'll try 1.5375. Uh, and I'll jump the CPU north bridge up to 1.5. Four, five. Um, we'll do a 1.4625 on the uh, CPU Northbridge voltage. Leave the Northbridge voltage alone. Actually, I'll jump the Northbridge voltage up to 1.175. I accidentally. I meant to one point. I. Uh, meant to put 1.15 in there, and I accidentally one, I hit 1.5 and started it up, and uh, there was no problems or anything. Just uh, the 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 Asus um, uh, AI Suite 2 um, notified me that the voltage was at 1.51, uh, so I immediately shut down and reset that. I don't know what the max voltage is for the north bridge but I know that 1.5 1 is pretty damn high so I'd recommend not doing that and uh, like I said before I've actually had the the uh, CPU because um, I had that extreme load line calibration on that the CPU went up to 1.58 and I didn't have any problems with that either. So, and I didn't get, I didn't even get a message uh, notifying me of that one. So, um, at, at least for this chip here, I got uh, it can withstand 1.58 volts um, and not explode. So, as you can see, it's still running. Uh, I want to check the DigiVRM here. So, 
uh, the, I want uh, I didn't explain last time the VRM fixed frequency here is how fast 